Welcome to Shuey's Barbecue, where you'll learn the tips and tricks to master your grill. Today, I'm proud to announce the rebranding of TB2's Kettle Cone and the fact that they're the latest sponsor to jump on board Shuey's Barbecue. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to turbocharge your barbecue with a kettle cone. Now, if you do like this video, don't forget, give me the thumbs up, share it with your mates, but the best thing you can do is hit the subscribe and the bell buttons. That way, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So, let's get into it. Wait, stop. Let's roll the other intro. That's right, today I'm gonna to show you how to turbocharge your barbecue with the range of kettle cones. Now they have three models in the new range, and that is the generator. Now that is their smallest kettle cone, but it definitely packs a punch. Then there's the blaster. This supersized version is like attaching a supercharger to your barbecue. The last but far from least is their flagship design, the Blazer. This is my go-to for cooking hot and fast on my barbecue. From chicken wings, bacon-wrapped jalapeno poppers, tasty lamb loin chops, bite-sized pork shots, flavor-packed seafood and cheeseburgers. The only limit is your imagination. The kettle cone works on forcing hot air through a small opening up towards the center of the lid. So therefore we only need about three quarters of a charcoal chimney starter of fuel to go into it. We don't need to over cram the fuel going in there, it needs air to breathe. So give it a bit of room. Open all the vents open on the Weber, the lid and the bowl, okay? And this is gonna get that air circulation and that rolling hot air that's going to turbocharge your barbecue. So the kettle cone has heated up the Weber. Our temps are well over 200 degrees and it's still climbing. So it's time to get some food on. Now we're just going to put um, the food around the outer part of the grate. Leave a gap between each piece. That allows that hot air and any smoke that you might want to get around each piece. And then all you do, put the lid back on, sit back, have a drink and wait. As we are ramping up the temps in this Weber on the indirect cooking zone using that kettle cone, the fact is we're creating a super hot spot under the lid vent. So while you're cooking, it's best to turn that lid around. I find a third of the way during the cook. So it's a half hour cook, every 10 minutes, turn it a third of the way. So most cooks using a kettle cone in a Weber are gonna take on average 30 to 60 minutes, depending on what you're trying to cook. So those of you out there that love to use my beer timer, you're looking at a one to two beer cook. And as I always say, you have to keep hydrated while barbecuing. Okay, the food is ready and it's time to get it off. Now, I don't know about you guys, but every time I use a kettle cone in my Weber, and I lift that lid, it makes me feel like a maitre d' at a fancy restaurant. This is everyone at my barbecue just stares in awe at how hot I can get the Weber and how easy it is to produce really good looking food. Well, that's it. Just remember when you start cooking food like this, it will not last long. So, heads up, grab some extra for your next barbecue because you know it's going quick. Once again, Thanks for watching. Cheers. So just remember, whistle like me and it sounds crap through the mic.
Why is there a plane in the sky? Isolation! Go home! If you don't turn that saw off, I'm gonna shove it up your bum. Go home. Isolation. Get off my street. Ryan didn't, didn't do that, nah. Uh, uh. I'll teach you how I don't know why. Is it still recording? Hi, welcome to Shuey's Barbecue, where you can hear my neighbors using all manner of power tools. Well, you'll learn the tips and tricks to master your grill. Today, I'm gonna go and strangle you. Tips and tricks, he's getting louder. I'm gonna go and get a shotgun.